blessed day. Welcome to Via Mystica. And today we're going to talk about detachment in our episode 2 in Via Mystica podcast. But before that, before we start, please do like, share, and subscribe. And if you're having trouble in your prayer life, you could avail my Catholic Life Coaching Service, Prayer Life Management. It, uh, the link is in the description below. You could choose the, the Fiverr uh, or write, uh, email me in my Gmail. So in the Fiverr, it's $250 and in my Gmail or outside Fiverr is $150 for an 8th session. So let's start. St. John of the Cross emphasizes the necessity of detachment from all desires using the analogy of a bird tethered to earth by even the smallest string, demonstrating how any attachment prevents us from reaching God. So this is in the Ascent chapter 11, Ascent to Mount Carmel chapter 11, number 4. And examples from this from daily life illustrate this. A quail trapped in a fence, immobilized by attachment to multiple links, only re regains freedom once fully entangled, mirroring the spiritual liberation achieved through detachment. So first of all, if you want to walk in the spiritual life, you need to be detached from sin. So it means you need to be in a state of grace. Because no one can walk in the spiritual life or the mystical life without being uh, detached from sin so that's why uh, that is why uh, you must be in the state of grace that's a first step okay that's a first step in towards detachment okay the detachment is a first step toward divine union now the first step towards deta to detachment is to be detached from sin so by confession and being a state of grace now I, uh, I want to emphasize these two, two detachment. Detachment from the material world and detachment from spiritual consolation or spiritual uh, experiences. So first is the detachment from the material world. So it's we can find it in the scriptures that whoever, la, uh, if we can find in the scriptures, especially when our Lord was tempted by the devil to, to worship the devil and the devil would give everything. So we could find that in that in in that in that story or event of our Lord, we can see the detachment of our Lord in the material things, knowing that all these things are means towards God, not they are God themselves. Sometimes when we uh, attach to things like collections, a collection of bags, collection of our cell phones, or or travels, and many more things in this material world. We're so attached that we we are not we are free. That's why I remember one uh, one thing in the uh, Stoic Stoic uh, Stoicism philosophy Stoicism that if a man is slain by his passion, he is weak. I I, I don't know. It's that the that's the right par, uh, the the exact statement, but that's what I remember, and I just paraphrase it. So. If a man is slave to his passion, he is weak because he, he or he, he, she, when I say he, he, she, uh, it, it means man and woman, okay? <laughs> There's no uh, discrimination here. So he or she, uh, when he or she is slave by his passion, he or she uh, is not free. So example, uh, how poor it is to see those people who are addicted to have an addiction, addicted to cell phone, addicted to different things that they cannot live freely. So that's, that's, that's in the in the in the material world, right? So there's a bad bad things in terms of addiction. That's why those ad, uh, addicts they need a psychological treatment or a rehabilitation to help them in their journey and to have them uh, to have them in their normal condition. So in moderation. Now, in the detachment from spiritual experiences or spiritual consolation, there will be a time, if you, especially when you are so detached in the world and you become so holy, when you when you uh, become so, uh, let's say, advanced in the spiritual life, God will withdraw His presence from you. So it, it, this is experienced by Saint John, uh, Saint John the Cross, Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint Padre Pio, that they call it spiritual death, 
or spiritual desolation like, like like that that they do not feel god at all at the so at the at in their in their peak of their spiritual life they feel god they're so filled with the grace of god but at that moment god uh withdraw his presence from the saint not because god doesn't want the saint or god uh is angry with the saint but God is teaching the saint detachment from spiritual consolation. The aim of this is to love God as He is. Because if we love God because of the consolation that we receive, the mystical experiences, the gift of tongues, <laughs> yeah, just, just joking, but the gift of healing, miracles, so on and so forth, what if God will take that away? Will you still love God? So in this in this way, uh, the dark night of the soul, it's so wonderful, the dark night of the soul, the purgation of the soul, so yeah, the purgation of senses is the purgation from material things. Then the purgation of the soul. So when the purgation of the soul comes, God takes away his presence to the saint. That as if the saint himself, herself, himself, herself <laughs> is dead. So this is uh, because God wants to teach us detachment from spiritual experiences. That we love God as he is, with or without this mystical experiences. Father John Hardon defines attachment as emotional dependence on people or things that must be that must be mastered for spiritual growth. Where creation is good and given for enjoyment, it should lead us to God towards God, not away. So remember even an example, there's, there's, so much, there's so much danger in the private revelations. I have a, a, a lecture about that lecture. Oh, yeah, lecture about that. You could uh, scroll down. There's a danger in private revelation that, that the devil can manipulate the visionary to turn away his, uh, his or her idea of God and to turn away many people from God. That's why St. Thomas Aquinas says that a false idea of God it's not uh, when you when you have a false idea of God, you do not worship God, because you do not worship the God of truth, because you have a false idea of God. So that's how how the devil works in some private revelations. Out of ten private revelation, let's say one or two is from the devil. Let's say I'm just giving a, a educated uh, guess or opinion. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's that's the case of private revelations. That's why it's so important the, the the spiritual director and the the, the diocese regulates pri private revelations and help so and help uh, to sort out what 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 is good and what is not. And this is my opinion, by the way. So attachments become obstacles when used excessively, diverted from their intended purpose or treated as an in themselves. For instance, financial success. Pursued as a sole end distorts God's intent where holiness should take precedence over wealth. So remember, money, money, the love of money is the root of, of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil, but money is not evil himself. Itself, sorry. The use of money, how do you use your money, how do you use your wealth, that's where evil comes. For spiritual beginners, the devil desires that the spiritual the, the beginners or those who are walking towards advancement are attached to material things either by uh, it's a rosaries uh, i have a that's i have a talk about that i i forgot when when did i talk about that but uh after the talk many of the of the people chat uh message me about how to be detached and these and this are sacramentals because as I know, they have 10 to 15 rosaries, and they only use one or two rosaries. There's so many have chaplets, they have so many images, there's so many have oil, they so many, they so have, they so many have, sorry, wrong grammar. They have so many, they so have, they have so many rosaries, oils, and etc. etc. that they do not need. Uh, spiritual simplicity demands us to have things that are necessary. One or two rosary is enough. Okay, one images of Our Lady is enough, or one or two or three images of Our Lady is enough, as long as it is used for devotion. But nevertheless, it is so much. It it must be that we practice spiritual simplicity. 
Because even in the religious things, the devil works also. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So, I, I forgot when did I give that talk. It was international because many of my my audience were uh, from different countries. So in Fire Within, Fire Dubai explay, explores sorry explores Saint John and Saint Teresa of Saint Teresa of Avila's teachings on detachment as a path to spiritual peace, not indifference or withdrawal from life. Saint John's challenging counsel to be to be inclined. Be in, to be inclined not to the easiest, but to the most difficult, and to desire poverty in everything in the world, reminds us that detachment is about aligning desires with God's will, not renouncing passion or empathy. Ultimately, detachment is life-affirming, giving joy and peace by placing all things in a godly context, as St. John of the Cross writes. To reach satisfaction in all desire, in all desire its possession in nothing. To come to possess all desires the possession of nothing. In this nakedness, the spirit finds its quietude and rest. So remember, detachment is spiritual freedom, spiritual liberation. In detachment, we find true peace. Because if you are not detached, uh, especially no, a detachment helps me a lot. I'm gonna share a personal experience. Uh, there are times that I was misjudged by a person and a person called me rude and pride, prideful because based on a person uh, analysis about me. So the person reported that to that person and I was labeled rude and arrogant. Yeah, rude and arrogant. And if uh, at first I was hurt, of course I ho I'm a human being. But when you practice detachment for a long time, even though you're hurt, you can forgive. You can forgive. That's why detachment is so powerful because it frees the heart, the mind, and the soul from any uh, from any bounds, from any bounds, especially in bounds of my image, right? Who knows? Maybe maybe that person is. Uh, telling the different people that I am like this, I am like that, without knowing the whole story, without knowing the whole truth. But anyways, I put it in the hands of God. So, but it really hurts. I do admit, but because of my because of practicing detachment for a long time, it is not. Uh, it is not that uh, I I have moved on easily and I forgive easily. So detachment is not easy. It needs to be practiced for a long time. When I uh, I practiced detachment when I was a third order Carmelite, it was approximately seven years ago, going to eight years ago. So, uh, I'm not saying I'm a master of detachment, but I'm practicing detachment. Then I invite you to practice detachment, and we're gonna um, we're gonna talk about how to practice detachment. What are the things that we could do to increase in us the virtue of detachment? So thank you for watching and please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe because it's so important for me that we uh, spread Catholic mysticism, I'm a Catholic mystical studies, and Christian perfection. This channel hopes and prays that somehow one of my viewers, one of my listeners becomes a saint. Not because of me, but because of the works of the saints. That they become so inspired that they live uh, Christian, uh, they, live, uh, they live in accordance with the will of God and they aim for Christian perfection. I tell you, that's my hope that uh, one, if, uh, one of the bi autobiographies or biographies or let's say autobiographies of a saint, they, they're going to write that uh, thanks to the Via Mystica podcast, uh, it helps me to walk towards this Christian perfection. Of course, not because of me, but because God used me as an instrument for to help you towards Christian perfection. This is my greatest aim. This is my greatest uh, desire. Well, that's why I created this channel to support Christians out there, Catholic Christians out there to, uh, in their spiritual journey. Remember, only, there's outside the church, there's no true mysticism. And we're going to talk about that. Don't you worry. So thank you, thank you, and God bless. And please do offer three Hail Marys for me and for my channel.